how one tests uh, their DRO. Uh, in my case, a cheap Chinese uh, DRO with the cheapest scales, uh, five micron resolution, so about two tenths. Um, more than just checking against the dials. So the first thing one should do is move the DRO, say, uh, uh, 10 inches and then uh, move the handles 10 inches and see whatever they match. However, they are the dials uh, on the, uh, say, uh, X axis uh, and on the Y and Z are all a one uh, thousandth of an inch, which is uh, uh, about 25 microns. Um, this is good enough for this machine, but it's uh, significantly more, uh, less. it's significantly less precise than the actual DRO should be. Uh, so the resolution of the cheapest scales is five microns to tenths. How do we test that? So uh, I have a very simple setup here. I have the uh, here test indicator, which is a half a tenth, which is just over a micron. I have gauge blocks, which are the cheapest grade, grade uh, B or three, depends which scale you use. And I have the setup like a T. Uh, I have the Y axis locked uh, because if you start moving the Y axis, the whole thing wobbles and it's huge differences on this very precise instrument. So the idea is that uh, I check here and then I move the column up and I check against this uh, crossbar. Now, I don't move the Y axis at all, it's locked. Uh, the spindle is also locked, so this thing doesn't move like around. And uh, I measured that if I very lightly clamp the column, there isn't much movement on this test indicator. If I clamp it a little bit more, it's about a, a tenth movement. So clamping, unclamping, other things, they produce some error already. Uh, also, you know, even touching this machine a little bit more than I'm touching it right now, I can move it different directions by a, a, a tenth easily. Uh, even through its uh, you know, uh, one and a half ton machine, uh, this thing is so precise that uh, movements of a couple of uh, micron, uh, you know, a tenth or two, it's not much. Um, the steel actually bends and other things happen to it. Uh, also of interest is that uh, the DRO is actually metric and converts to inches. So there's some rounding errors. Uh, the, uh, the blocks here are calibrated for 20 degrees centigrade. Um, and they are made in a little bit too small to account for the film. Uh, this is less than a micron, but they are made too small. And when they're manufactured, uh, the tolerances are on mostly on the plus side. So you have to account for all of that and the fact that the scales should be about two tau, five micron accurate. Uh, at least that's the resolution, so uh, accuracy should be similar. Now, my experiment yesterday when I did this first time, I got precisely four inches. I left the DRO overnight. In the morning, the DRO showed four inches and one tenth. Now it's afternoon, it shows again four inches. So the, 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 the sheer fact that the machine was uh, in the over, you know, a hot period of the day changed the sizing and relaxed the machine, uh, changed the metal, just the temperature moves it around by a tenth. So I'm going to try to replicate this uh, experiment again and see whatever it's still four inches uh, today. So I'm just going to move it uh, close to the block. This is not easy since it has to be very precise. Okay, started to move. It doesn't matter where it moves, as long as I remember where it is. So it's like seven. I zero the DRO. OK, 
okay zeroed and gently move it up and now move Was there started to move, apply gentle pressure. Okay, more or less there. Well, not really, it's like six and a half. And let's see what the DRO says. The DRO shows just a tenth over. So we are definitely within uh, the tolerance. Uh, like I said, uh, this is very precise and uh, anything two plus, two minus, I'm satisfied with because that is the stated accuracy. And also there are problems with my setup to you know, do it that precisely. So this shows that a cheap Chinese DRO is as accurate as they state um, at least on four inches, uh, and I'm pretty sure over you know longer distances as well. Uh, meaning that you don't have to buy me to toy you or novel. You can buy cheapest Chinese stuff, and it's as good or better. Uh, anything electronics made in China, you can expect pretty decent quality most of the time.